Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to show you how to align image or text side by side in HTML CSS like this. So how are you going to do it? Let's get started. So first what we're going to do, we're going to and then as you can see in our right side, there will be the website. So I'm going to pick it into the right side. So now what we have to do here, we have to give the structure of HTML and into the HTML, we will going to work into the body section, going to give a div tag. Into the div, we're going to add class. Into the class, we can simply name it as container. And after that, we're going to give uh, these angular brackets. And into the div container, we're going to add some image source. So for that, I'm going to give the image attribute. And the image attribute, we're going to uh, give the source. So I'm going to rename or I'm going to copy this name over here like this going to copy it and going to give the source by pasting it and give the uh, alt as place folder image and that's it we're going to save it and now we're going to add the text for that i'm going to use the p tag into the p tag i'm going to add the l'oreal ipsum so for that i'm going to add it and going to save it. so what we're going to do we're going to add some css into the head tag so i'm going to add style into the style, I'm going to add the first one, the container. So I'm going to give this dot and then use container. I'm going to give the curly brackets. Into the curly brackets, I'm going to add the display. And the display should be flex. I'm going to save it. And now I'm going to add align items so for that i'm going to use the align items attribute and going to click it as center going to save it save. so i'm going to add the container again give the image attribute and going to give the curly brackets into the curly brackets i'm going to add the max width of this image so i'm going to add to 100 pixel so then i'm going to save it right now and then I'm going to add the margin right. So I'm going to use the margin right. And into the margin, I'm going to use it at 20 pixel. So after adding the e diff tag, we're going to add the image source. And then after that, I'm going to use the p tag to write some uh, information over here. And then I'm going to close the diff tag. And after into the uh, style.css, I can simply use the container, give some attributes called display and align items. And after that, I used as container image. So after that, what I get in at the end, I'll get the end like this. The image is the image with text side by side. And you can simply do this by simple this kind of coding. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you for another videos. Till then, goodbye.